Hi, my name is Vanessa Meraz. I'm from the University of Texas at El Paso, and I'll be briefly going over my poster on an error analysis on forces predicted by a tensor field neural network. So briefly, as a bit of background, we want to be able to predict forces to calculate thermodynamic properties over running molecular dynamic calculations, which can be uh, a bit of expensive. So to form our predictions, we use a Euclidean neural network. We feed our forces to this model and fine tune our parameters to reduce our error. And with this model, we're using data sets from iron and zirconium with both classical and DFD data, where the classical data is being used as a sort of benchmark on what to expect, since that data is more expansive and the time steps are more spread out. And we get to see this in the error plots when we compare them to the DFD data set here, which for both iron and zirconium, we see this sort of structure happen where the model isn't completely able to learn seemingly because the steps are highly correlated and not every outlying configuration is sampled in the training set. So in our efforts to fix this, we randomize our data set and increase our training set. And using the smaller training set still results in the error having a bit of structure but it significantly disappears um, once more training steps are added. And with this in mind, one of our best results is the iron model here, where most of the errors lie at around or below uh, 0 0.12 electron volts per angstrom in both the train and the test set. 